वेलकम टू यूट्यूब चैनल सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू द मार्लिन फ्रॉम वेयर फॉर फाइव हंड्रेड एम एम थ्री डी प्रिंटर दैट आई शोड यू इन द लास्ट वीडियो दिस इज द फोल्डर ऑफ द मार्लिन फ्रॉम वेयर एंड इन विच फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल गोइंग टू द मार्लिन फोल्डर एंड सर्च फॉर मार्लिन एंड ओपन इन टू द विजुअल स्टूडियो कोड आफ्टर दिस फाइल ओपन द कम्प्लीट फोल्डर है Five hundred mm printed marlin from there. Select this folder. So after opening the complete folder, you can see the files on the left side here. For the editing of this firmware, you can go to the configuration dot h folder. First of all, you will see here the configuration author name. You can change the. I kept it to Silence Three D Printers. You can change whatever you want. After that, this is a custom machine name, and the, this is the board name, MKS Robin Nano V3, and this is a serial port minus one for MKS board, and this is the board rate. After that, this is the driver type. You can choose any of these driver types you are whatever you are using. So this is a default A4988 motor driver, and this is the number of extruder. we are using only one extruder so we will keep it to the one and 1.75 mm is the normal diameter of the filament after that you don't have to change anything between them and this is the temperature sensor and temperature sensor zero means that you have not enabled the temperature sensor one means the temperature sensor is enabled the zero temperature sensor is the temperature sensor for the hot end and one means it is enabled and the after that temperature sensor for bed is one also enabled now you don't have to change anything in this section here after that end stop settings you will always use the x min y min and z min plug if you are using the home direction of x y and z axis in negative side then you will uncomment this x min y min and z min plug if you want to home your 3d printer in positive direction then you will uncomment this x max y max and z max plugs and you will comment it this min plugs and this is the direction for the x min y min and z min and stop If you think that your direction is correct, then you will keep it to the false. If you think that your direction is wrong, then you can change it to the true, and the direction will be converted opposite. And in the movement setting, this is the axis per step, axis steps per unit for x-axis, y-axis, z-axis, and extruder motor. You can change x-axis, y-axis steps per unit if you think that your NEMA 17 motor is not providing the exact mm that you are giving from the LCD. After that, the maximum feed rate and the acceleration of the printer. Now you don't have change, and you don't have to change anything in this section. Now let's go to the size of this printer. And before that. you can see here the direction of x direction y direction and z direction and also the extruder direction if you think that the direction of your x y and z also the extruder motor is not the exact that you want or if you think it is the opposite of the direction that you are want then you can change true to false false to true true to false here and this is the size we are using this firmware for 500 mm then the x axis will be 500 mm y axis will be 500 mm and z axis will be 500 mm also if you want to change the direction you can change here
all other settings will be keep, kept same just check the LCD that you are using is selected correctly we will use the MKS board that supports the MKS TS35 V20 LCD so this is the selected here so that means the LCD is correct and after that you don't have to change anything in the firmware now you can create the file but before creating file you have to clean the folder if you if it has anything here it does not have anything produced file earlier so for the safety we will clean it first you can see here the cleaning process is done here now you have to create the file now click on this platform io build button and it will start the building the file for the firmware of 3d printer you can see here the file is generated and it will create all other supported files with it like you can see here it will take some time after that you can upload it into the microcontroller when the file is completed you can copy the file from the folder and paste it into the SD card and then you just have to insert the SD card in the microcontroller and it will automatically upload the firmware in the 3D printer. Now you can see here that the file is successfully generated. You can see the MKS Robin Nano V3 USB flash. This is the file that you will have to copy into the SD card. Now let me show you this file in the folder. So this is a folder and you will go into the .pio folder and into the build. You can see here the MKS Robin Nano V3 USB flash drive. MSC folder. You will just have to copy this dot bin file. You can see the robin nano v3 dot bin. This file you will just have to copy this file and paste it into the SD card. SD card and after that you will just have to insert the SD card into the controller and it will upload the Marlin firmware automatically. If you have any question you can ask me in comment section. And if you think, if you feel that I missed any part, you can ask me in comment section also. I hope you like this video. Thank you. Love peace.